Good morning, this is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, and welcome to the teaching of talking. This particular video today is about encouraging those with aphasia to speak. And you might say, well, that's kind of an interesting title. It surely is. You know, I've been working in the field of speech pathology for gosh, 46 years. And in that time, I've been able to observe so many people with aphasia and their caregivers. And uh, one of the things that I frequently see is that the people with aphasia aren't in, are not encouraged to speak. And they can go to family dinners or go to family outings or to church or any number of places and are placed in a social situation and typically do not speak. And mostly everybody knows they can't speak. And the majority of people don't necessarily come up to them to speak with them because they know they have trouble speaking and most people want to just avoid the embarrassment of going up to people who have aphasia and talking with them. So that's the dilemma. And what I frequently see also is that you have a spouse at their side and the spouse isn't really saying much of anything other than communicating the fact that her loved one or his loved one cannot speak. So that's the dilemma of the situation of aphasia, that the people with aphasia aren't talking because they're not capable of talking uh, in a social situation. They're just not at that level of skill in speaking to interact with people in the social environment. If one has aphasia, it's very difficult to speak and everybody around them speaks in a very, very rapid way, which is the way normal speech occurs. And what happens is that the person with aphasia just can't keep up and needs time to construct what they want to say. And unfortunately, in the situations of daily speaking, that is not possible in a social situation. So then what's the answer? Well, I have a couple of ideas what the answer is. And one of the first answers is that the caregiver needs to learn how to stimulate speech. In other words, the caregiver needs to learn the methods of what to do to help people talk. And if they don't learn that, then they have no uh, influence on their loved one's speaking. A, lo a loved one or a spouse can be a profound help in the learning and the ability to talk. And in fact, we believe that the caregiver, uh, if and when possible, is the predominant person who will help that person relearn to speak because let's face it, speech and language therapy can only be accomplished for a rather short period of time and it's not intensive enough for most people with a severe speaking difficulty. So the fact here is then that if a spouse knows how to stimulate speech, knows how to 
help a person talk, then they can do so at home. And then when they go out uh, to church or they go out socially or they go out to a family event, that spouse can help the individual talk in just about any situation. And you know something? That's better than having a person with aphasia stand around or sit around and be avoided by everybody because they know they can't talk. And so, so most people don't even go up to the people with aphasia and talk to them because they know they can't talk. But see, if you have a caregiver who knows how to stimulate speech, then they can be with that person and help them speak in just about any particular situation. And therefore, helping that person with aphasia return to a level of confidence and self-respect that are quite often lost with aphasia. So please, our recommendation is that if you're a caregiver or you're a family member, that you'll do everything that you can to learn how to help a person with aphasia talk. And it's not by doing workbooks and iPads and things like this. Uh, you know, th those are good as supplements, but the predominant way to help a person talk is to interact with them at home in a specific way that helps the person with aphasia say single words, phrases, and sentences. This is Mark Edelman, speech language pathologist. If you have a comment about this video, please place it below. And if you'd like more information about the teaching of talking method, please send us an email at markedelman at teachingoftalking.com. And please visit us at our website at teachingoftalking.com. And in that website, at the bottom of each page, are two blue bars that you can press on and become a member of our uh, email list where we will send you interesting videos and comments and information about aphasia. So on that, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Don't forget, down underneath this video, press on the Teaching of Talking website and um, uh, fill out the questionnaire or uh, fill out the uh, little window that asks for your name and email address so that you can receive regular communications from us. And if you'd like to speak with me personally or schedule a, uh, a free get acquainted visit over the phone, please fill out the survey questionnaire at the bottom of each page. That you only have to do that one time. So I'd like to thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.